We'll call this one Day 5 Part A. I'm going underneath here, and I'm going to show you the underside view of the patch panel repair. So, I had mentioned probably in Day 3, this is what you get when you do a cut and butt or a butt cut, cut and butt. When you lay that patch on, you get the metal that pretty much falls right out. Okay? And this is just some example I wanted to show you guys on film that when you do a cut and butt technique, you've probably seen it on YouTube, and I've incorporated what I've learned from those guys and some of my own experience. And you can do that so you don't have to get a perfect weld. I mean, you don't have to create a perfect patch to fit the hole. You just put metal over the hole, cut around it, and then cut it, cut the, uh, cut the patch in, and then butt weld it. And lap welding is appropriate too, in most cases. So anyway, I just want to show you that. This is the leftover scrap metal from doing that technique of a cut, cut and butt. So anyway, let's go underneath. I'll show you what we got going on here. All righty. Going under, we're going down. All right. So I'm gonna try to attempt to show this stuff one-handed. So, let's see here. All right. Let's see here. So that is. Oh, one second. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> 